Wow. I am in County Court. I am in a class Jaguar 980. New pickup head. This is the main man, Mark Troy. And this baby is singing. V12 man engine. Yep. You're crazy. So all you send me. So everybody tells me. You're coming from a 970. Yeah. But what you really were after was the new pickup. The new pickup. Yeah. And you've decided to, to you've, you've go all out. Go all in. Uh, are you disappointed? No. Extremely happy. I have. The only word I can describe her is an animal. She's an absolute animal to take stuff. She's running. Like, this is actually heavy grass, believe it or believe it not. Yeah. I've been sitting in with you just a few rows now. We've yet to see the header jam, which yeah. was, was a problem. Oh, it was a big problem with the last one. I mean, if you'd have had a 980 last year, Mark. You couldn't use the power last year. But you can use the power now. You can use now. the power now. But that was a doubt. No, they class, they're back in the game. No. 100% back in the game. We were just counting up seven years since we filmed for the DVD Green Fever. You were in the twin engine then. That's right. You've you've seen two or three 970s since then. Three, four, it's it. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're in the 980. No, we're in the 980. What else did you change for this year? Uh, the big M. Big M, you have another new, big M. And you have another 420. The loader, 33435. Uh, Mark. And three messes. Mark. You're an accountant. So by, people. By, tell by, by, by your trade as an accountant. Yeah. Everybody says there's no money in grass. And <laughs> they'd be right. What are you doing here then? As I said, if I was a good accountant, I wouldn't be at this. <laughs> <laughs> is this bug, is it that bad? It's a disease. Is it? Is it, it is. that bad? It is, it is. It's an absolute disease. With no cure. You've also got a new 7720 yeah. by the looks of things. I have two of them. Wow. And a 7718. Is that the first time up to the big, the long way? No, we had two, uh, two 7620s, which I traded in for them. I was very happy with them. So I decided to go, and go up again. The old ones needed tyres, needed the surface and stuff, and I did a good deal. They were happy to deal, so... The grass here at this stage, Mark, is definitely a lot heavier than, 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 than grass would be with us now, from what I can see. Oh, it is. Well, this will be our main peak time now. Yeah. From now, from the 20th of May on, it becomes our peak time. And you're running all Brock and Trailer? Yeah. Now, the last time we were back, there was Brock and there was Smith, but you're, I see you're away to all Brock and... All Brock, apart from a couple of DCs. The small ones, which are the original trailers. And on the loader, you've stayed with JCB. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. I know you are, but Volvo would be very strong. They're coming about now. Too. You never attempted? No. Look, we're happy with him. The driver loves her, and that he's probably the most important person because if, he, do, if he doesn't like her, not much point in me having her. Yeah, have you ever shook his hand? <laughs> you ever felt the power? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd be giving him what he wanted to. Oh, you'd be. What has happened to you, Brian? Married life changes every man, Gareth. <laughs> I mean, it used to be you had to work for a living when I came down here the last time. We were working, you were putting an old 434 through its pace of struggling to keep up. Now, brand spanking new 435S, just, you're just going about there. You don't even feel that 980 coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> I probably choose not to feel it coming at me because you'll probably get too stressed looking out of the field at the way loads come in. She's the beast from the east. She's unbelievable. Genuinely, this is your second of the new shape 435s, yeah? Yes. 
how are you finding it compared to the 970s that you, you had been running up until this year? The trailers are still, they're coming faster. There's probably more trailers there now. Um, we're running a second loader, sorely for packing and tidying up and stuff, do you know. The 435S, I will keep it clear with it. Just about if I have enough scope to run the two loaders, we will keep 90% of the clear that the trailer, when it comes in, it can tip. Plenty of power on the 435S, very comfortable. You, you know. did say the last time that you never thought you, you know, Volvo wasn't for you, you didn't think you could ever get used, but you know, they do the old joysticks there now? Still have the joystick, yeah. Um, I don't think I'd ever get used to the lollipops. Never? You know? No. But what I, about the Volvo in general? Because we know you're a very hardcore JCB man. Well, JCB has never, I won't say I operate them, they're not mine, but they've never left me down in this. I had to look for a bigger loader for a bigger harvester. JCB produced it. It's doing what it's meant to do. You know, from the 434, would you say that they, they talk about how they've improved the, the, the operator's cab, the seating position, the, the visibility, all the rest of it? This is now your second of the new style 435. Is that true? That's true, yeah. Couldn't have any faults with it. They've 360 lighting on them now as well, which is a super job. You know, JCB always kind of lacked in lighting, and I've said that before, but they seem to have gotten that right now with the lights. We still put a few extra ones on inside. We're here and in the, the middle of it. It's very smooth. Fine diesel tank in it. We can do a good day's work in it. We've put in 215 acres on a tank of diesel with it. No problem. Well, I mean, things really haven't changed since Green Fever. I mean, you were there in Green Fever, you're doing the same job. You know, a lot of the farms are the same. The only, the only difference seems to be it's the speed at which it's happened to be done at. Well, the speed at which it's happening, it has got much faster, but I think down here, cone numbers have gone up a good bit. So therefore, farmers are cutting an extra 20 to 30 acres, maybe a bit more, if they can get ground. Pits are getting higher, bigger. Do you know, I was everything has expanded. I know though the pits aren't getting bigger, you're making the same pit bigger. Make, making the same pit bigger, like we're going higher so we're doing more, we're doing more climbing. Are you still enjoying it as much as you were back then? Do you still, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even, still enjoying even it. Even with the 980? Even thing. with the 980, but sure look. I suppose that's bragging rights, I clear a 980. Um, <laughs> look, we won't ever brag, I boss, you're only as ever as good as your last job. Look, it's a nice challenge. They said it probably couldn't be done, but we seem to be, we seem to be managing it away. Look, if crops get ferociously heavy, I boss, we will be under pressure. But then again, the harvester will have to slow down out in the field as well. If crops get too heavy, they can't keep coming at you at the speed they're coming at. All in all, JCB, in your opinion, they're, they're still in the game because throughout, throughout Ireland, and particularly in Northern Ireland, up with us, you're seeing a lot more Volvos and other makes trying to nip in. Is JCB still punching, in your opinion? Oh, it seems to be still punching. Well above its weight, it's still punching, you know. Um, I can't fault that loader in one way of stability, pushing power, hydraulics, lights, but it burns in diesel. I, ca I can't complain. And you're you know? still on the OCE? Still on the OCE. The Without fork, the gloss? The, didn't get the gloss again this time. <laughs> Too much of a shine back off it, you know. I'm dealing with silage pits, you sun, and you know, the eyes could get burnt out of you fairly easy. So when you turn on the lights at night, the last thing you want is another thing shining back at you. I think the less glass in it, it works out, works out better for me anyway. Maybe so. you just can't see. Well, I haven't gone off the side of a pitch yet anyway, so the old no, dog... I don't know, we maybe haven't gone off the side of it, but look at it. Do you ever see a dog's tail when it's flat out happy? <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. And you couldn't adjust it, and it seemed to be weak enough. They've taken it back out of the gearbox and put it on the shaft, and it seems to be a lot stronger. And it just seems to do the job. After that, the only other thing they've done, which does help, is the variable drive. And it's not, it's, you can actually get more speed out of the auger, which helps to clear the grass faster when you're in high volume. Yes. Other than that, it's very similar to the old one. There's better flotation as well, there's lateral flotation. Ah, there's better lateral yeah, and now too, yeah. so. Okay, I'm sure if you were speaking to a class engineer, they would likely tell you there's a lot for the lot of... I'm sure they would, there, but what else there is, I don't know. All I know, all I know it well, works. It works. And that's all I care about. Well, when I first met you, your, your words to me were, she is an animal. And you sent a picture message not that long ago with, with a very bold type of class or bag of the game. game. Yeah. <laughs> and I think they are. Do you, you think this machine is... Oh, this machine right well, has been right back in the game. And I think, to be fair, the machine, but also the pickup. Because I think if you had a night, a night like the smaller machine, a 970, say, with the pickup, is a completely different machine as well, I'd say. Well, it has to be a big job because there are guys have kept their older harvesters, 970s, 960s, whatever they've had, and upgraded the pickup. The pickup, yeah. And you said initially you looked at that. That's what I was going doing. <laughs> no, let me tell this, <laughs> let, tell this let me tell this, right? So Mark had a 970 that was one year old. One year old, so the modern, nine, the 498 model. And he was like, right, I need this I new pickup. He knew the new pickup was running uh, as a prototype a couple of places. He knew it was doing a super job, so he had to have the pickup. Is that right, yeah? Yeah. So off he goes to the class dealer, walks in, sits down, I presume has a cup of tea. Maybe, I'm sure there was a custard cream involved. And a, bowl, and, a, and a bowl of soup. And a bowl of soup. And he, 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 his intention is to get the new header for the 970 because he was planning to run it two years. And uh, he came out two or three hours later with a 980 bottle. <laughs> yeah, as you said, I'm mad. <laughs> That's class. No point being mad if you don't show it. See, you still have this man on a, on a fence. I do. Is the there any reason when you ordered that fence that you kept at the old school green? She's the last of the old school green. She's the last of the old school green? Yeah. Was well, she maybe like a 16 model coming into 17? She was. She was last of them. She was 16 like that. They had one. So I just... Because when you see the new forest green in them, they are nicer. They are. I didn't like them at first, but I do like them I now. was the same. I, I just I don't like them. They're no good. I know. I like them. No, I don't like Sorry. them. You like them, what? Sorry. Great tractor now for setting maze. Yeah. The Vario box. Oh, but the... the, the very, Continuously variable transmission and everything. Yeah. Except it takes power. Well, you're working then one fence? One fence. The rest massive. The rest massive. Can't afford any more fence. What about the blue? Uh, you've always had a couple of guys, anything, like the last time we were here, you had a couple of blue always cart for you. Is that the same? Same, same crew. Same group, same, same lads. Group, same lads. They're a fine tractor. They're a nice tractor, no fairness. They wouldn't have probably the same traction as the massive. But good tractor in fairness. You think the Massey would have better traction? I think they do. No, to be fair, they have improved a lot. The newer ones have improved. They seem a bit more weight to sit down better in the ground. I wouldn't fault them at all, in fairness. Well, how, how many years have you been contracting? Where did the whole Troy business start from? My dad started. Yes. Back in the early 70s. And your dad was? A teacher. Oh. Well, he was a professional <laughs> man as well then. Yeah, he was a teacher and he went he went contracting um, back in the early 70s and it kind of just went on from there and I suppose when we were growing up we used to be over with him doing the usual, sitting up on top of the, on the house beside him and being 16 started driving and just went from there. I just kind but of... But that little bit of, with your, with your dad being a teacher then, I suppose, that, that education was an important thing. Oh, yeah. And, and you pushed on with your education. Yeah, oh, we weren't allowed to go at it. We had to get an education, we weren't allowed. Was that like a trade, like a deal? That, that was a deal. If you wanted to go at it, fine. But you had to have your qualification first. And that's what, the, and, the, and that spurred you on to do your qualification? Yeah. I had no choice. Your dad was called... Eamon Troy. He was Eamon, so it was Eamon yeah. Troy. It was Eamon Troy, yeah. 
I just kept it going. Then when he passed away, I just kept it going. Did you find it hard stepping into his shoes? Just uh, it's very hard. Yeah, yeah he, look, he was a great man at it. He was. I'm serious. We say serious, serious, respected man. Yeah, he was. He was. <laughs> Ever, you know, how long have you been running at them without your father? About eight years. That's eight years. Eight years. Right? Yeah. The burning question. Could a young boy start from scratch? Very hard, I would say. Very hard. Well, sorry, they could start, you know, second hand, handy size harvester, handy size up, and work up from there. But to start big would be very hard now. Without big. something else? Yeah, because it, there's just so much tied up. Like, if you were to put an outfit this size in the road tomorrow, you and buy everything to start here. You know, you have to spend so much you want to have in two million. And I know finance is something a lot of people are working with, All right. but it still has to be paid. Oh, it still has to be paid. These here, Range Tobin V12 980. I mean, that this machine alone must be, forget about any other type of headers, a quarter of a million plus. What more are you talking? You're heading. Yeah, the length of three. You're going over three. You're heading close to four. Is that including the fat? No, no. <laughs> no, you'd get that back. You wouldn't have a whole pile of change out of four hundred. The huge money, though. Absolutely huge. But then. But then you the output. I know, and then it's still worth. A significant proportion of that after two years. Oh yeah. I think a lot of people do forget themselves and think, oh, how can he afford to buy that? But it's what it's costing you to, to run it, it for two years and change, and change it yeah. in two years' time, and that's the ultimate. That's the that, that's what it boils down. That's what it is. You'll go back to nine seventy now in a year's time and get it for free. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but not a bad idea. I'm telling you. See, huh? I'll buy a six thirty and get money back. Probably would, eh? Cashback. Well, sure, it'd be useful if you wanted to be sneaky holiday. Yeah. <laughs> that is filling grass there. We nearly need to time a load. So, here's the challenge. 20 foot Brahman, class 980. Totally raw, Mark Troy, new header, V12 man engine. We're just going to see roughly if we can work out how long it takes to fill the trailer. And she is the game. There's no question about it. We have picked up all evening and we have not jammed the header once due to fault of the machine, so she is away. Seconds or whatever for turning at the head of it and for my started. That's some boy. Well, since the Grassman DVD Green Fever, obviously, an awful lot has changed with us as a business, and, and we have managed to keep it going and grow it into a business. 
you've grown. But do you ever still switch on that old DVD and take a look back? Oh yeah. You do, yeah. I, I, see, never... I, I see this gray hair. <laughs>